We got a Where's Waldo for you today. I'm giving away a $200 gift card to the first person that spots what's missing. I'll tell you a little bit more on that later on. I put together this, I'm gonna call it Karcher. I don't know how I actually say it. They got some things around the A. Maybe that changes the pronunciation. But this is an S6 Twin. We got one of these last year for our shop in Pawpaw, our main warehouse where I run my business. The guys love it. So once I, well, my shop is close enough to being done where I wanted to get something here. We just got done using it, a little bit of dust in the air, but way less compared to, you know, brooming or using a blower or something like that. And um, does a really good job collecting it. The really heavy areas of dirt, takes a couple passes, but this thing is super easy. It says it does 32,000 square feet an hour. And I believe it. I mean, it's, there's no, I mean, it just glides right along. Very little resistance, works well. 32 inch, is it? Yeah, no, 34 inch model here okay i thought it was 32 inch but holds a lot of stuff really easy i mean just open that hopper out right there dump it out it's got um a broom along the back and then it's got these two on the edge they kind of you can go right up to a wall and pull stuff away from there so that's nice too not going to get it absolutely perfect it kind of as these outer brooms kind of sweep and pull things towards the middle you have to be able to go far enough forward for that back broom there to kind of rolled up, suck it up into the hopper. So if you can't get that far forward, you're gonna have a little bit of stuff left over um, that's collected, but not in the hopper. Took all the five minutes to put together, super easy. The kind of assembly I like doing. Uh, wasn't that expensive. Can't remember what it was, I'll find it. I got it on Amazon, delivered price, uh, in stock. They've got a bigger version, I think it was as well, but this is the same one that we had there at, at the warehouse. And so I figured I would get this one since the guys had good things to say about it. Also. You're staring at two black snow pushers here. Neither of them are on black tractors, but both of them work very well. So we do carry currently green snow pushers as well, but I am going to be dropping green, going to only black. That's kind of been on my mind for a while and why I've had this black snow pusher on my John Deere for the last couple of years to visually let you guys see that. And that it looks pretty good because there's black Tires, black frame, black grill, black floorboard, black, 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 rops, rhino high canopy, toolbox, steering wheel, three point arms. Look at all the black that's on there. So black goes with a John Deere, all right? But if you want to get a John Deere green snow pusher, you can still order one. You just have to order it well in advance. So like, by like June 1st, if you want it for next year. But if you still want one this year, we've got some remaining inventory in green. So get your order in. So this right here is actually some cherry wood. I had a cord of this dropped off to me recently. We're gonna split a lot. Of, well, we have split some wood. We're gonna split a lot more, but I don't have anything that's really ready to go. It's nothing that's seasoned out here. So I wanted stuff that was seasoned for now to get me through until next year. There was leftover firewood that was out here, but that stuff's all it's just rotted and has really high moisture and has seen as better days. I got a, a moisture tester actually, and it was like 25, 30% uh, on some of those pieces there, unfortunately. So, but the good thing about having this delivered, this, this firewood delivered was that they turned me on to a, a forester who met us out at our other big chunk of property where we had the 140 acres, a lot of that's woods. And we walked, Chris and I did out there with him kind of give them a lay of the land, what we're looking to do with um, getting it logged out there, like a selective cut so that, you know, it's, it's managed and opens up the, the higher quality trees for the next 10 years down the road and 20 years and every so often. So uh, we can get some, some money off of it and try to, uh, you know, I don't know, recoup some of the investment there. And so he's gonna actually spend, this is crazy to me. He spent probably four hours total because he lived an hour away, had to drive out there, walk around, all that kind of stuff, go back. He's gonna come back out, take about three days to go through and mark all the trees and give us a quote for what that, you know, for what he would um, offer us. This is all like at no cost. It's an uh, unusual format to me thinking that you would spend and invest so much time not even knowing if you're gonna get the job or not. Anyway, more to come on that. You know, I'm not, I'm really out there uh, these days. We're, we're pretty busy here at our other 40 acres. And so I'm looking for ways to, to offset my cost out there. If I, can, if I can log it and recoup some of it that way, perhaps uh, farm it, do a hunting lease, whatever it is, just different ways to um, offset some of those costs, not just the taxes, but the, the payment on it as well. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, 
We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of rim guard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at rimguardsolutions.com. All right, so I previously told you about the JCB machines that we got. We have this 3TSAT telescopic track steer, but also bought a wheel loader, all right? And the wheel loader, unfortunately, well, the first one was next to a tractor that caught on fire and melted. They scavenged all over the place, found one in Colorado, brought it to Kentucky, shipped it up to us. For us to find out, it's not gonna lift what we need it to lift. So that's really awesome. I had told them very clearly how much weight we needed to lift and even padded that number significantly by over a thousand pounds. I said we gotta lift five, 6,000 pounds. Typically what we need to lift is about 4,000, maybe 5,000 pounds at the absolute most. So the JCB 407 won't do anywhere near what we need to do. We tried lifting some big pallets of, of snow pushers. That's what we really need to do. When they come in delivered on a semi truck, they're on, well, like an eight foot skid. So it is very long. You have to pick it from the side and it'll have 15, 20 pushers that are all stacked on there. And so it gets really heavy. So we need a lot bigger machine. So we're back to the drawing board there. They're working with us, trying to find something else that's significantly larger. The funny thing is, is that our, our John Deere 333G track steer lifts those up just fine. Our old Manitou that we had lift them up just fine. So, you know, maybe wondering why I sold the Manitou. Well, I didn't think we really needed it. Um, come to find out we did, but then I needed a tax write off. And so that's why I got the JCB. Anyway, it's, it's, there's a lot of moving parts that are involved here. So now they've got a much bigger unit, uh, TM320, I think it is, JCB TM320. It's got a telescopic boom on it. It's a couple frame sizes bigger, essentially, and they've sent us video of it lifting two 3,500-pound concrete blocks. Um, they didn't do the one thing I wanted them to do, which was extend the boom out about two to three foot and then see how high it would raise in video. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Uh, but they didn't do it. It was kind of annoying because that would be the perfect test uh, to confirm that it'll lift the weight that we needed to lift. So we're going to use that machine to, to clear the parking lot in the wintertime too and, and do all the other stuff. So we're just going to have two forklifts for inside and then the big wheel loader there to tackle the big heavy loads that come in. And it could be snow pushers, could be anything else. Um, if you get too big of a, a forklift for your warehouse, then it doesn't navigate inside. So it's it's really complicated and expensive too to have all this equipment, but you just need it to get the job done. Otherwise you're, you're dead in the water. Okay, so now for that, where's Waldo? All right, so I figured this out a while ago. I was trying to find a, a good time to mix this in, but there was a video we did in the fall with the Summit TX25. We were pushing pumpkins in this video. All right, so we'll put a link down to it below. You're gonna need to watch that video. The first person to find this gets a $200 gift card for merchandise from our, our partner that carries all of our merchandise, like this sweatshirt right here, for example, you can get a hat or a, um, a t-shirt or a mug or whatever. But there's something critical missing on the Summit TX25 tractor, all right? There's something that needs to be on there and it's not. So it's, I don't know if anybody's ever gonna find this, but it's, it's very obvious once you actually see what it is that it's missing. So the first person that comments in this video, you gotta leave a comment in this video, okay? With the correct answer, you're gonna win that $200 gift card there, but it's gonna be tough. I, you know, Chris and I watched it. I only found out because I, I, I was on the tractor later on and realized it later on. So anyway, good luck with that. Watch that video, okay? It's pushing pumpkins. Um, there's an Oregon subsoiler that's in there too. We'll put a link down to it below, but it's from the fall. Hang on, I'll find the date actually too if you wanna look it up by that. Okay, it was November 29th, currently titled a new subsoiler for compact tractors. So find that video on our channel. Good luck to you. So folks, that is gonna wrap it for us today. A lot of stuff going on around here. I wanna keep you updated with that. If you've got any advice for us, we'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment down below as well. If you're in the market for a tractor attachment, I was talking about that warehouse earlier. We sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country every day of the week. We include free shipping to 36 states, rewards. We're currently doing a 0% APR financing promo, but we also offer regular financing all the time with a firm, so check that out too. If you enjoyed the video, we want you to tag along. Hit that subscribe button to keep up with what's going on around here. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Come here, June. Come here, baby. Are you ready to go? Come here. 
Oh, you're getting so dirty. We gotta clean the rest of the floor, huh? Yeah. You don't care. Okay. 